Greetings. Today is the last day of the year. As we get ready to wrap up this year and a decade and get ready to step into a new year, we want to pray and speak God's richest blessings on you, God's guidance, God's direction, and may your steps be truly ordered of the Lord as you step in to a brand new year and a great new decade that's ahead of us. This week we've been talking about traditions, an unusual subject, and uh, reminding us that there are traditions we must stay true to. The truth that was delivered to the church, the teaching of the scriptures, what has been delivered to us, the landmarks, the boundaries that were set for us by the forefathers of the faith, and uh, we must stay true to all of this. But I want to also remind us that sometimes tradition can blind us. And things that were once good for a time and a season could become a hindrance to the new things that God wants us to see, God wants us to understand. Read for us from Galatians chapter 1 and verse 14 when the Apostle Paul testifies, shares his own personal story, he says, And I advanced on Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my fathers. So here is an example where traditions which once served a purpose over a certain period of time now became something that blinded in this case the Apostle Paul from the revelation the truth that was being revealed or right before his very eyes and in this case the person of Jesus Christ so Paul is saying you know he was growing the tradition of his fathers and he was excelling uh, in, 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 uh, in, in Judaism and he was getting he was even better than all his contemporaries he must have been an extremely good scholar uh, a very learned person in Judaism uh, and th those Jewish traditions which served a purpose unfortunately in his case at that time blinded him and he couldn't see the light of God and the glory of God in the person of Jesus Christ, so much so that he even persecuted those who followed the Christ until God, in his own sovereign and powerful way, had to shine his light to open up the eyes of the Apostle Paul. The point for us is this, that sometimes traditions can blind us and we must understand the things that we must let go in order to move into the new things God is doing in the church and among His people and in the world. So keep our eyes open. The move of the Holy Spirit, the expressions of the Holy Spirit, the people that the Spirit of God is touching and the ways in which He is working, these are new things. And we should not let the things that once served a purpose hold us from stepping in to the new ways, the new workings, the new dimensions of the Holy Spirit as He continues to cover the world with the knowledge of the glory of God and the gospel of Jesus Christ. As doors are opened, as, uh, as God is moving and uh, re releasing dreams and visions and revelations of who He is to people, we must move with Him and not permit old ways of doing things. Keep us from the new ways of God. Stay open to the new ways and works of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Oh God, open our eyes, we pray, Lord, but we need to see and understand the new expressions, the new ways of the Holy Spirit, areas in which you are moving, people that you are touching, and help us to move with you. And may our eyes not be blinded, but by the things we once were used to. Open our eyes to see. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.